This is real. Look at this place. About three hours outside of Paris, in the tiny hamlet of Autrecourt, France, is a magical chateau. My lovely friend Julia rented this place on Airbnb, if you can believe it, and for three days it was host to a fabulous 1790s house party, complete with costumes, champagne, croissant, candlelight, and camaraderie. Please join me on this wonderful adventure. The oldest parts of the chateau date back to the 12th century, with major additions and renovations happening during the Renaissance and 18th century. Most of the decor from the house dates to the 1700s, with the older bones showing through occasionally. Today, it is privately owned and rented out for weddings, parties, and large groups like ours. The proceeds from renting it out are used to help maintain the cost of keeping up this astonishing property. It's big. There are something like 12 bedrooms that sleep in the neighborhood of 26 people, depending on how many share a room. This place is definitely not modern, with bathrooms dating back to the early 20th century and some haphazard electrification happening around that time as well. If you're looking for five-star accommodations, this is not the place for you, but if you can look past the peeling paint, cracked floors, and doors that don't always behave themselves, then you can participate in the most glamorous camping you've ever seen. This is in no way an insult to the owners who have taken on a Herculean task of maintaining this thousand year old property and have done an incredibly noble job of it. Personally, I love it in all of its crumbling, patched up glory. It feels real and authentic because it is. <laughs> We're looking at a place that has been a home since the 1100s. What a joy to add myself to the list of people who have stayed here. My room was a little library, as charming and adorable as can be, with a beautiful view over the moat. Our first order of business on Friday was to get unpacked and get dressed in our first outfits before gathering for an al fresco dinner under the grape arbor.
All right, here we have outfit number one for our weekend at Chateau Autricourt. taking a little walk around the path that goes around the moat at Chateau Autricourt with amazing views <laughs> to the side. The moat um, is actually spring-fed. There's a natural spring that feeds into it. So it's clean and fresh water and it's full of little fishies and covered in water lilies, which unfortunately I think we just missed them. A few of them still have blooms on them but I bet when they're in full bloom, it's just absolutely beautiful. It's just a lovely little addition to this beautiful place. good. All right, here's my Saturday evening outfit. Tonight is our fancy evening dinner uh, that Julia has catered by a company that uh, is nearby here. They do a lot of weddings and special events and parties and things like this at the Chateau. So there's like uh, local people who know how it works and everything like that. So tonight we're getting all dressed up, super fancy. And we're gonna do a beautiful like formal dinner in the actual dining room of the Chateau.
from Chateau Autricor. It is Sunday morning and uh, we've had a uh, quite the night of partying. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, I cannot hang with these Europeans. They are very impressive in the amount of Prosecco that they can drink and be completely fine. Uh, I, on the other hand, <sighs> not so fun but it is a absolutely beautiful morning we've had the best weather here it's just been just really beautiful it's been clear skies and and very warm but not hot with low humidity and there's plenty of little garden areas that you can escape to to sort of get into the shade and the house of course just stays cool because it's you know has you know, thick stone walls but also because there's windows on all sides of it you can open up all the big doors and windows and there's just this beautiful cross breeze. It's one of those things where you see that like, you know, these old buildings really understood how to deal with the weather. It's really nice. So now I'm just gonna take a little walk this morning to refresh myself in the dew. We're gonna go swimming in the natural swimming pool. <laughs> Wait, this way. That's it. Oh yeah, that's good. we can go either way. Well, do we want to go the long way or the short way? Hey, I'm natural. <laughs> Tonight we're having an evening picnic by candle and a little bit of moonlight. There's not much of a moon, but we're taking a walk into the woods. a lot of questions about what we do all day if there are like activities and stuff and you know not really we just hang out <laughs> just 
we just hang out and we snack and we drink Prosecco or Cremel, which is the local uh, champagne, local sparkling wine, and we just visit with each other. Um, it, this is such an international group. We have people from Poland and Germany and Italy and France and us, of course, from the United States. And um, we had some people from the Netherlands come. So it's a lot of people who don't get a chance to see each other very often, and so everybody's just kind of catching up. So it's been a really nice opportunity to sit and chat and, and meet people, many of whom I've like only been, you know, Facebook friends with for, oh gosh, like a decade. And just like that, in the blink of an eye, our transformative weekend was at a close. I want to thank Julia of Bohemian Bell for organizing and hosting us. I'm going to leave a link to her down below, and I hope you'll visit her pages. I hope you have enjoyed this glimpse into our time at Chateau Autricor. Thanks so much for watching. Au revoir.